Wave at the camera because it's video right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to look right at the camera and you're going to say, Have a palmy. Hi, I'm Amber Hood and this is my take. I don't know why I said this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amber Hood, and this is my take. Sorry. That was fine. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Amber Hood, and this is my take. Woo! <laughs> this is my office. Down here. Nice. <laughs> so this is where, I mean, I, I like to go in for auditions because I like being directed. Yeah. But if you can't, you can't. So I just plug in my um, mic to my computer and I put my copy here. And then I just um, do the edits and everything here with sound design. So I have my, or sound studio, sorry, sound studio. And my mic is Audio Technica. Cool. So this is my little guy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these are some of the cis toys. Uh, I was the voice of cis for about seven years. So um, she's part of the Laugh and Learn series for Fisher Price. Level one. Yeah. Let's so she's so cute. <laughs> she is so yeah, cute. You're learning. <laughs> oh, can you do that? Yeah. Like green hand thing and play games. <laughs> I love that. So great. Thank you. The first question is... <laughs> <laughs> I have had a voiceover job that changed my life, absolutely. Um, it was a show called Special Agent Oso with Disney Junior, and I was cast as Special Agent Dottie. Dottie's a wonderful pilot. You call her an ace. What's my training exercise today, Dottie? Today you'll practice your observation skills. You and Musa need to watch Wolfie as he walks through the forest to the hidden base. Today's training exercise is team leadership. You need to lead Wolfie, Musa, and me safely through the big cave. Growing up, I spent a lot of time at Disneyland with my mom. That was our special place. Uh, because I was really sick as a kid, so I couldn't play sports and, and outdoor things. I was a really serious asthmatic. So going to Disneyland was our special time together, and that was something we did a lot. So uh, to book a Disney series was very, very meaningful for me. And so it was special, and it changed everything. It just... I learned so much because I'd never been part of a cast before. We actually recorded as a cast together at the same time. So that was really special. Yeah, so especially to Daddy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. If you could create the perfect role, what would that be? Uh, well, when I think of that kind of question, I think about myself as a kid and what I liked. And I liked, I liked learning. I liked going to school. I really liked being in the class, and it just made my mind um, grow, exp imagination explore. So, those are the kind of shows that I really love, and I think that kids really love too. So, if I could create a perfect role, it would be the kind of role or kind of show where a bunch of characters were learning stuff and through whether imagination or discovery. But I like the idea of shows and characters where a child could watch it and then actually experience something real after the show, like in their real world, to make it real and really mean something. So specifically, I'm not sure what it, that role would be, but it could be an animal, it could be a person. I would just think it could be a positive thing where kids could really look up to and and emulate. Like a role model, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I take classes all the time. <laughs> uh, I've been in voiceover for 20 years, but I still think it's so important to take classes 
it's working even when you're not working. I started uh, advanced animation at the voiceover connection with Sue Boyajian. She has so many different classes for everybody there. I really love that place. It's in Burbank. Um, I also take classes sometimes with Fan Voice Actors Network, and you can spend three hours in front of a real casting director, and that's really valuable, of course. And then I also take classes sometimes at Voices Voice Casting in Studio City, and um, Compost Productions. He's in North Hollywood, and then I'm in a weekly acting class for scene study, which acting is fundamental to voiceover acting. So I would really recommend acting classes, of course. And yeah, I'm always in a class. I love it. <laughs> Most of my work is little for little kids projects. So I'm not doing fancy perfume commercials or anything. <laughs> Some of my projects that you might know my voice from is Special Agent Oso on Disney Junior. That means he's sly and fast. Um, Susie Sunshine on Doc McStuffins. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm Yule in the Final Fantasy games. I am the Cirrus of the oldest tribe on Pulse. My visions of the future are recorded and stored in the Oracle Drive. But that is long in the past. There is no more need to record the prophecies. I have Caius now. Once the unseen chaos was created, it could not be stopped. It reached out and dragged you into the other realm. It broke the dam that the goddess had built. It shattered the boundaries between worlds. I do a lot of work for Fisher Price in Laugh and Learn Kid Toys. I'm Sis. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. And I'm Brightwing from Heroes of the Storm. She's a real freaky talking Tina kind of character, but she's a dragon slash lizard with wings. Oh, hi, new friend. I am Brightwing. Do you know about fairy dragons? Well, we like happy things, like nature and making new friends. And she acts like she wants to be our friend, but she's not. <laughs> oh, and snack time. 